not a Taylor's name. I'll be honest, was not uh, much further than when I heard George Floyd's name. When I heard that George Floyd was killed. It was after Floyd. He was not killed, he fucking OD'd. Maybe two weeks ago? A 26-year-old frontline worker. She was killed on March 13th, over two months before George Floyd, in a no-knock police raid at her house. Wasn't no-knock. All progressives do is lie 100% of the time, without exception. 911, operator Harris, where is your emergency? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door and shot my girlfriend. Hell, oh my God. Nope. Yes, it brings to light a bigger issue, the invisibility of black women when it comes to police violence. No, the invisibility of the facts when it comes to discussing anything with violent BLM rioters who are generously funded by the establishment. Breonna Taylor's murder, right? And, and that's what we're going to call it. No. Right? When you go into someone's home unannounced. It was not unannounced. All progressives do is lie 100% of the time without exception. And you slaughter them while they are sleeping. She was not right? sleeping. Occupying the space that they think they should be the most safe. That is a slaughter and that is a murder. I didn't see Stop like Stop lying. Oh my coverage. God. Really, honestly, the main reason is because she's a black woman. Are you fucking out of your mind? That's all we ever hear about is black woman killed, black man killed. Even if it was justified, oh, black woman killed, black man killed. Even if it was, even if he had a knife, even if she had, he had a gun, even if it was an accident, like the one time every so often this happens. Like that's all we ever hear about. We never hear about Daniel Shaver. You know they have white the guy. Most disrespected woman in America is a black woman, and when it comes to us, it's like nobody. You're not disrespected. You're treated the way you treat people. You're treated the way you project. And it's always nasty and combative and violent. Fighting for us. Nobody's fighting for us. Even with Sandra Bland, like nothing. It's like nothing gets done up, at it's all. Was nothing. nothing is no done. Nothing is no ever anything. done. It was just mm -hmm. died down. But your melanin is magic. What do you mean? So you need help because somebody killed themselves in a cell? And then we waited again for it to happen again. What? The Blake identity is one of just delusion. That's just really so what it comes times down to. I've witnessed a shooting like this happening to a black man. Let's say the same thing happens to a black woman. You're not going to hear much about the black woman until the name of the black man is brought to light. The frustrating commonalities in a lot of protests is that they're often inspired by the death of men at the expense of the recognition of the ways that women are victims of state violence as well. No, not really. She was not a victim of state violence. This is just so cringe-inducing. Brianna Taylor was besieged in her own home, and so when these incidents happen in more private spaces, there isn't some of the police violence doesn't always mean end of life. It in these spaces? It's um, brutality, it's sexual violence in places where there are no witnesses. <sighs> If you go back in history and you see a lot of the pictures with regards to abuse and slavery. Linear time. So they have to go back and bring up slavery, Jim Crow, and all that nonsense that is not relevant today. And uh, they also conveniently leave out the fact that cops have basically been exonerated by body cam footage pretty much every single time. And they don't care. They just look at how just stupefied these people look in general. They're, they're, just, only they're stupid, just easy to rabble rouse just riot for hire show that's all the they fucking men. are they're strung up uh, they show you black men hanging they never show you a black woman hanging so i think it gives a fuck this idea that when it comes to injustices it's a greater injustice is look at this look at look at look at all the grannies she's killing but they're not gonna call her out why i think you As know why men and women it is a much more captivating narrative to hear about a black man who has been murdered, who has been- What did I say about, like, angry, frizzy-haired, mixed-race, radical people with identity issues? What did I say about that? What did I say about that? That's, like, the BLM frontlines agitator. Burned. Rita Scorchensi Packet, she was a black woman, 29 years old, murdered in Toronto, thrown off of her balcony when she called the police for help. No one has heard about her story whatsoever. It happened in the same week as George Floyd's murder. 
George Floyd's murder. So if I walked over there, well, first of all, if I was anywhere near there, I'd be physically assaulted. But especially if I was just like, you know, uh, good news. Yeah, um, George Floyd wasn't murdered. He OD'd on fentanyl. I mean, it's still tragic, but it's better than him being murdered, right? If I said that to them, they would not <laughs> view it as good news being imparted on them. They would view it as me just, they would view it as me incurring violence on them and they would physically assault me because they're fucking psychopaths. Black woman carried a nation. <laughs> carried a spirit what? Of this country. What? That time is up to talk about oppression and not include the black woman. What? What? In what conceivable way was any nation, any thriving first world nation, propped up in that manner? Again, notice how the chat is disabled. <laughs> My stream. Not only black women, but black trans people, black queer people. This is for all of them. It's not just for black cis hetero lives. This is for all of us. Yeah, so black trans queer lives are the ones that built the United States, you guys. You know, that Appalachian neighborhood or that middle American, like Midwestern, predominantly white neighborhood. No, actually... All of that infrastructure was built by black, queer, mentally disabled, trans women of color. And uh, the only reason that you don't acknowledge this is that you are a violent racist who needs to be unlearning your whiteness and uh, giving random black families your money. And if you don't do this, uh, well, that's violence. And now we can incur violence upon you. Uh, you like where the future of America is headed? Because I certainly don't. We make it known that it's black women that are driving this movement and you will censor our voices and you will censor our narratives and policies. Patrice Cullors? <laughs> oh, she was, you know, trained Marxist, right? The trained Marxist lady, generously funded by 501c3 nonprofits like Colorcom that get a whole bunch of boo-boo corporate bucks and funding. Policy. Otherwise, no justice, no peace. So this is just, this is corporations funding stupid, low IQ street armies that are violent and ready to kill you and enslave you. They're using the black nationalist and the far leftist Antifa angle to enslave us into debt servitude. And it's, it's just a really bizarre way of going about it. It really is. I'm a black girl who rocks and my life sure just matters. Oh, you don't brainwash the kitties. The present and the black women who are looking towards the future. No. The vast majority of people in, you know, one faction or another uh, were astroturfed into place or affirmative actioned into place. You know, I I'm not going to sit here and fucking give any extra weight to someone who is sort of artificially <clears throat> propped into a place of influence or authority or whatever, man. I mean, that's. That's a huge part of why society is crumbling is because our leaders do not belong there. <laughs> you know? You know? They just don't.